So you want to know about the powerful blood of Jesus. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 powerful ways the blood of Jesus saves you and I. Welcome, I'm Dr. Steve, and you get to spend some time with me on this YouTube channel. And you get to learn how to have a vital connection with God, evident results through wonderful prayer, encounters with Him. So let's look at 10 powerful ways that the blood of Jesus saves you. Number one, the blood of Jesus covers sin. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. In the story of Adam and Eve, we see God having to slaughter an animal so that its skins can cover Adam and Eve. And this is a foreshadowing of the atonement which shows to us that it is necessary for an innocent being to be slaughtered in order for the sins of the guilty one to be covered. Our guilty, sinful lives needed a saviour, needed a sacrifice. And that's the story of Jesus Christ atoning for our sins, dying for us, laying down his life so that his blood can cover us. Number two, the blood gives a better covenant. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Jesus' blood paid for a new and better life-giving covenant because it was the life-giving blood of the Saviour, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the pure, sinless, infinite one. Jesus' blood was shed for the remission of sins or the forgiveness of sins so that you and I could be free from sin's weight. This is a new and better and life-giving covenant because of the life that enters us. Rather than us being led by external laws, we're changed from the inside out with this new life-giving spirit of Jesus Christ. And this new life-giving covenant leads us from the inside out. Number three, the blood appeases God's wrath, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Jesus was set forth as a propitiation by his blood. Propitiation Greek, hilasterion, the appeasement of divine wrath by a sacrificial offering. Jesus was set forth as a sacrifice and his blood would appease the wrath of God against our sins. The blood of Jesus, propitiation, the only saving solution to the fact of God's wrath against sin. God's divine wrath is matched only by God's divine love. And it was God's immense, infinite, divine love that satisfied his infinite wrath against sin in and through the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. Number four, the blood of Jesus buys us back. Mankind was once God's through creation, but became lost through sin. Knowing that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, Jesus gave his life's blood in order to buy us back, to purchase us out of sin and death. Redeemed. Bought back. The idea here of redemption is life for life. We died in sin and Jesus' life-giving blood paid the price. So the word redemption is a life and death matter. We don't follow a religion. We've been brought out of death into life. The price has been paid. It was the love of God that paid the acceptable price through the spotless lamb of Jesus Christ. And the payment was made by the love of God to the righteousness of God. Yes, God paid himself through the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ that humans could once again be God's own. I have so much more to share with you about the blood of Jesus Christ coming up next. But if you've been enjoying this video so far, hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell so you can receive more of these videos in future and share them with your friends so they can get so much richness out of them as well. Number five, 
The blood of Jesus draws us near to God. Before this new covenant life, Gentiles were not citizens in the commonwealth of Israel. We were outside the promises of hope. And now in Christ, we are citizens of heaven and one with Christ. And all of the promises that are in the commonwealth of the kingdom of God are ours. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. There was no hope for you and I outside of this new life, this new covenant. We are separated from God's promises of hope. All of the good things, especially the wonderful promise of God's presence. Now in Christ, you and I are grafted in. We are one with God. We are close to him and the promise of being in his presence any moment of any day is sure for you and I. The presence of the Holy Spirit drawing close to us. The presence of God loving on us, blessing us, leading us into good things, protecting us, shielding us, being around us. I love worshipping. I love reading the word. I love praying to God here in this prayer room because the promise of God's presence has become an, an everyday reality in my life. And this is what you and I are promised through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for Jesus that opens us up to this new life of dwelling in God's presence. Number six, the blood gives us eternal life. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus is surely speaking of a spiritual reality here, not a fleshly physical reality. His physical body has left this planet. When we feed on Christ by faith alone, we enter into the life-giving spirit, the experience of drawing on eternal life. We become partakers of God's eternal nature. The spirit of life springs up in us. We're born again. We become new creatures. And daily we can draw on the faith, the word of God. We can grow up and mature in Christ. So we live supernatural experiences and eternal life in this life right now because of the blood and the word of God. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. I used to be confused that I'd have to eat some bread and drink some wine in order for my spiritual life to grow. But it was more than that. It's about us receiving the revelation of truth in our hearts. Eating his flesh is literally receiving revelation from his word. And all these areas have amplified and brought to life. Through the word of God, the bread of heaven, the manna, Jesus Christ's body. And here we are now, the living representation of Jesus Christ's body on planet earth. Because we're born again creatures, new in Christ, by the blood of Christ's sacrifice. Number seven, the blood of Jesus produces peace with God. Humans were bound in sin and at odds with God. We were actually enemies with God. But because of Jesus' sacrifice and the blood of the Lamb, we can have peace with our God. And by Him to reconcile all things to Himself. By Him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of His cross. You and I didn't have any acceptable offering to satisfy the demands of God's infinite holy nature. And because of that, you and I were at one time relegated to live eternally separated from God in hell. The place of death and despair and, and torture and torment. Jesus Christ gave divine life in blood to satisfy all of mankind's sin debts and to restore covenant peace between God and man. The death of Christ restored the harmony and peace which once existed between God and man. And you and I get to experience that peace and harmony with God 
because of the blood of Jesus Christ. In the description section to this video, I've put a link to the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association where you can learn more about the blood of Jesus Christ. Number eight, the blood of Jesus gives victory over sin. Much more then, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Faith in Christ's blood and what it has done for us enters us into victorious living and participation in Christ's life. Faith in the blood of Jesus helps us to overcome sin in two vital ways. The blood of Christ deals with the legal issue of separation from God, reconciling us to him. So every moment of every day, as you turn your faith and hope to what Jesus did through the blood, it doesn't matter when you fail or mess up, you can instantly turn back to God and know that the restoration of the relationship is there. God did it all 2,000 years ago by the blood of Jesus Christ. So turn back through the blood into that relationship with the Father. Trust in, believe in what the blood has done to set you free from all that shame, to let you see that God sees you and I as wonderfully redeemed humans. Secondly, faith in his blood infuses divine life and provision for our continuing triumph over sin. The life-giving spirit of Jesus Christ is now on the inside of us. God infuses life into us through belief and trust in the blood of Jesus, in what he has done for us. We're new creatures, we're new creations. I encourage you to worship God every day, pray to God every day, spend time in the word of God, nourish your spirit, be energized, be strengthened like the energizer bunny temptation and sin has no hold over us in the blood number nine the blood of jesus overcomes satan satan controls and manipulates and takes hold of and defeats christians by condemnation guilt and shame and all the accusations he throws at us like mud and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death every time you do wrong the enemy comes in to accuse you to say see you can never win but the blood of jesus says you're already a winner you're already forgiven you're already innocent in god's eyes it answers all of the enemy's accusations the blood has made me right with god the blood has paid the price for all my sins, past, present, and future. The blood has covered me. The blood has, has answered the accusations. I am innocent in God's sight, and so are you. Can I pray this for you right now? Father, I thank you for the blood that washes us clean. We're innocent by the blood. The price has been paid. We have relationship with you. We are one with you. There's no animosity. There's no warfare between us anymore, but only peace. We draw on that relationship again, energize us, strengthen us. Thank you that we're victorious in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Number 10, the blood of Jesus shares Christ's nature. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Communion, fellowship or sharing in. Any time that we enjoy communion, we take hold of the elements of the bread and the cup. We remind ourselves of the reality of what Jesus has already done for us 2,000 years ago on the cross. He made a way as the bread of life. And as we receive the word of God into our hearts, faith arises and we're born again. We're new creatures in Christ. The blood of Christ has made a way for us to be innocent with God. Now that Jesus Christ has shared his life-giving nature with you and I, we are God's children. And in this next video, I want to share with you what it's like to live life as a king's kid. The dynamic of Christian life and ministry is found in understanding the kingdom of God. In this video, I want to share with you eight insights to enjoy kingdom expansion in your life. So don't miss this video. Click on it as it comes up next.